Alrighty, so this is going to be a video on in installing uh, Mechab on Windows 7 64-bit. First thing we're going to do is search Google for Mechab, and um, top link should be our site, and then we'll go down to downloads here and install the binary package for MS Windows. Click on Mechab installer for Windows and then we'll run it. The install is really straightforward. There's just one thing that needs to be said about it. If we were to choose Shift JIS right now, then after getting everything set up, it'll work ex exactly the way we want it to through Mechab, uh, the program itself. Now, online you'll see a lot of people install, um, tell you to install it using UTF-8. This is because later on, when you're not using Mechab directly itself, um, you might be using a uh, scripting language like Python or, or something like that and um, Python deals specifically with UTF-8 code encoding so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to install it with the ship JIS and then I'm gonna show you how to change the dictionary to UTF-8 um, just in case later on you might want to um, use a scripting language or Python in particular um, to automate some things or or uh, really take advantage of Mechab. So let's install shift.js accept the agreement uh, it's going into my 32-bit program files that looks good that looks good and now it's installing it um, and getting the installation files ready for the dictionary. So now um, I'm going to permit everyone to use it. That's fine. And I'm going to compile the Mechab dictionary, which is the Shift JIS dictionary, which is going to help us later on. There we go. And now on the desktop, there's going to be a shortcut to Mechab. And this is Mechab. Um, you type in test and we get a bunch of garbled mess. Um, this is because Windows is trying to use its English locale, uh, in my case, um, to decode uh, the Japanese locale here, which should be using Shift JIS. Um, if you were to install UTF-8, you'd get a garbled mesh mess there too and any other one you'd get a garbled mess um, so we have to tell our computer to handle non unicode programs uh, with Japanese so we go to control panel and we go to clock language and region region and language and administrative. We're going to change the system locale Japanese hit OK and it's going to ask us to restart and so now it's restarting and um, we just got to wait a little bit Okay, it's restarted, and now our system locale for non-Unicode programs is set to Japanese. We click on Mechab here, we run a test on it, and voila, um, now it's working. Uh, so, um, let's see what we can do if we made an error to try and fix that. Um, first thing we can do is run a command prompt 
because this is where you're going to be doing most of your stuff. Uh, and we do that by um, searching for run or running the run uh, program from the start window and then typing in command here. And now we're there. Um, we're going to want to change our directory to the de desktop. And that's where our makehab is. So now we can run makehab from here. Type in test, run it, and then control C to get back to our desktop. We can also check um, the help file, the dash H, and it gives us different things uh, that we can do. Um, as far as extra parameters within the command line. If we look up here a little bit, we notice that uh, we can set check the dictionary info. This is important because if you aren't getting a weird um, type of Japanese output unlike uh, the proper output like this, if you're getting some mojibake or something like that, it's most likely because, um, or the only reason I can think of, is because the dictionary is set wrong. Uh, so we can check that by doing slash capital D, and then it gives us all our, our information in it for the dictionary set, where it's uh, at and everything. Now the char set, if it doesn't say shift JIS, then you're in trouble there. How do we change it back? Um, well then, you can go into the start file, open up all programs, and mechhub here, and then you want to recompile it as shift-js. So I'll recompile it as utf-8, and I can show you the issue that we'll have with it. So now it recompiles the whole dictionary, and if we try to, well first we'll check the dictionary, it is indeed uh, UTF-8, and then if we're tr tr trying to run the program here, do a test, and you see we get all that moji bake. That's because it's not in Shift-JIS. So we'll go back, we'll recompile everything again in Mechab to Shift-JIS, and we should be fine. Uh, well, while I'm waiting for that to do that, I'm going to create a file here so I can show you how to run it in the command prompt. Make a text document and I'm going to call it wiki jp. And I don't know if it ran. Maybe it didn't run. Let's see. Now we're still in UTF-8. Okay, so I need to do that again. I think I had it open, that's why. Mechab. Shift JIS. There we go. See, I was trying to be tricky and get multiple things done at the same time. Test it. Shift JIS. Wonderful. Okay, so now what we're going to do in that um, wiki JP file is we're going to go to the Japanese Wikipedia and we're going to dump a bunch of um, Japanese in there and uh, learn how to, to parse it. Most everyone, I believe, wants to parse it with, um, with wakachi, which means to input the spaces so they can use it in, um, what is it, learning with texts or LWT or whatever that is. So that's what we're going to learn how to do. We're going to learn how to do that, and we're also going to learn how to um, parse it with chasen to show us um, parts of um, POS tagging, parts of speech tagging which is really cool, you'll see. Okay, so, dump that in there. Let's make the font a little bigger. And do size 12. Um, so here we go, we have a, a Wikipedia entry, and we'll save that, and we'll see how to use mechab in the command prompt. First thing we're going to do is um, use mechab. You notice that it's been saying mechab.link. It's because I'm literally using this shortcut here. It's just pointing to the file anyways. Um, and then we're going to choose the file that we're going to deal with. That's wikijp.txt. Another thing is if you haven't worked with the command prompt you can um, 
and type in a name and hit tab before you're done and it'll auto complete it. Very cool. Now we're going to use dash capital O here and we're going to tell it um, what kind of output we want it to do which is the Wakachi output. And we're going to dump it all to a file with dash lowercase o and these are the letters o and we're going to call that file with wiki jp spaced dot text so we can read it. That will dump us this file out. Now look at that. It's all spaced. Now let's get a little more practice going with this um, command line uh, mechab. We're going to parse the same file here, but we're going to change the the way that it outputs it with that dosh capital O to chosen, which is going to parse each part of the word and give us a um, the part of the speech that it is. And then we're going to output it as chosen, wiki jp chosen. And then we're going to see a new file pop up, pop up here. And this is really cool. Um, we can take a, a word like this. It goes through each word, and we see this is the kanji for it, and then it shows the pronunciation, hyaka, and then it shows uh, possibly, I guess, the kanji for it, just in case this was maybe hiragana, and it does have kanji. And it shows the part of speech here, which uh, we got nouns, uh, particle, uh, what else do we have down here? A verb there. Um, so yeah, that's Mechab. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you are concerned uh, how to do um, some of these command line inputs, um, then I can make short little videos to help you with that. Um, so any questions you have, I mean, you can leave it on the forum or, or uh, this will go up to YouTube. You can leave it in the comments there. So hopefully this helped you guys out.